I welcome back. New new little location. Just spent 20 minutes in the back with turd with legs barking at me. You probably still hear his fucking ass barking. Uh, kind of off in a in a corner here, so hopefully the background noise isn't too much, and I can already tell it's gonna be a little dark. And there's mosquitoes out. Uh, did all the ones with Jesse and his brother Greg. Turd with legs on cue. Uh, so now I gotta do some singles, uh, hopefully, or some solos. I'm sorry. Hopefully this uh, this coming Sunday, have a old Josh coming down. He's from a few reviews back. Cats jump on the fence. Uh, hopefully be coming down Sunday. But decided to bust out some uh, IPA nine and a half percent rocket fuel by Mustang out of Oklahoma City. Sent one of these to this dude, Ebomi. I uh, been doing a lot of ales and some milk stouts, nitro milk stouts lately. I wanted to go and get some IPAs. We got a, we got a gusher. So Ebomi, watch out. It also does have sediment on the bottom, so if you uh, if you want that more robust flavor and a little more maltiness, give it a good little swirl. Let's see, damn mosquitoes buzzing around me. So you go. It's uh, my Mustang. I've had a few good things from them. Seem to be a little, a little better than Boulevard. Oh yeah, the Hornet Fixer bottle opener. I actually took this thing to work one day and had it in my pocket the whole night and forgot about it. It's a little chunkier beer. As you can tell it's a rather dark one. Kind of a brown ale kind of color to it. Uh, it's got kind of a, a peach on the, on the rim on the outside. The sun going through it. Nice frothy head. Smells really malty. I see it more. It goes more towards the uh, the citrus, but it's it's very malty. The smell. Let's hop into this. It's pretty malty. You get none of that alcohol burn whatsoever. Like you could you could sell someone this as a a near beer and they guzzled it. They'd probably believe you. Oh, never mind. Hey, that second hit. You get a little bit of the warming on the exhale. Don't get a burn. Yeah, I think the, the maltiness kind of really dilutes the uh, the alcohol. Okay, the first thing you get the malt, and it goes directly to the alcohol, kind of warming, kind of zing. But that goes away really quickly, like within just a couple of seconds. By the way, it's it's not overpowering. It's I actually kind of like it. Right after that, it goes into a very slight bitterness. Like Pabst is a little more bitter than than this is to me, and more dry. This actually is a pretty good drinker. Very, very minimal the dryness. By the way, these did come in four packs. I think they're nine, nine fifty, ten dollars a four pack. Uh, it's up there in price, but 
I mean, shit, nine and a half percent. And as you can tell, it's a very, very easy drinker. Uh, if I didn't know the ABV, and I was eating food, shit, and with this, it's, it's not going to matter what the hell it is. The, the bitterness is minimal. I'm not getting a pine or citrus, per se. Um, it's probably right there in the middle. It kind of dies away with that, that bitterness and the maltiness. Um, in a, bre a bread, very, very yeasty, very bready. If I wouldn't have uh, gave it a good swirl, it, you know, the, the hops might have came out a little bit more, but the malt is just really overpowering it. Um, I don't remember exactly what the date was on this beer. Uh, the ones I sent, Ebo, me, um, Nathan, and Paul, I believe I put the dates on those. It's, it's no more than a month and a half, two months old. It's probably newer than that, actually. Because I believe I've only had it for maybe two weeks. Anyway. I had a brain freeze. Yeah, if I was, uh... I was having dinner and I ordered one of these up. Shit, like I said, it doesn't matter what it is. Vegetable plate, uh, steamed vegetables, baked potato, french fries, hamburger, turkey, chicken, shrimp. Fish. Yeah, the fish I think would go awesome. Uh, hold back on that tartar sauce. Uh, bring forth that uh, that malt vinegar. God damn. That's, that'd, be, that'd be amazing with this. I guarantee you. Go to Red Lobster, I think it's like ten dollars. Get a big ass piece of fish. Damn things like this, like this thick, like that wide, and you get, you get your side and you... didn't even look. Brick. And just put just a little bit of tartar sauce on it, or put it on the side so you could dip it. And literally you take about this much of the bottle of that malt vinegar that they they give out to you and you get you two or three of these beers, you'll be one happy person. Now, I've had a I've had some pale ales, IPAs and, and even some lagers and they've really been hard and aggressive uh, with the malt. This just uh, I mean it's a good punch up front but it leaves you with a nice uh, biscuity bready more towards the bread and it's not really a like a buttery biscuit not creamy or slick in the mouth uh, it's just kind of bready and grainy really good like I said I, I really do like this I would definitely get it again I'm more than likely more than likely will uh, I drink three of these in half an hour maybe in 20 minutes it's a really easy drinker not dry. It's a little sticky on the lips once it, you know, kind of dries. It's like they put molasses or something in it. It's really got a good, nice sweetness to it. It's not oversweet whatsoever. Uh, rocket fuel. I'm gonna have to toss this to nine and a half. For a IPA, it's something completely different yet I believe I've had some that have been too malty I mean, shit I've done a lot of a lot of beer reviews and I don't remember one that's ever been uh, this good so there you go if you can get the Mustang rocket fuel out of Krebs Oklahoma get you one I'll give it nine and a half percent we'll see what uh, e has to say about it and we'll be seeing you